We embark on an evening drive through a dimly lit street in Gulu town. Power outages are what many residents here have become accustomed to in recent months. Particularly in the last month, blackouts have occurred as much as three times a day. Many people here are protesting. And in any case, even during dry season, when we do expect at least when the weather is a bit stable, there's not so much rain, we do always also have problems. And there is a backlash on social media towards the power distributor Omeme. Business people here have registered losses as well as damages to electrical appliances during recent outages. Even our timing of operation, when there is no power really, we don't operate for long hours. They use the power soap. Just two days ago, unknown people cut down electricity poles in Bale district, cutting off supply to the north and eastern regions. Vandalism is a, is a very serious thing and unfortunately we don't have the punitive legislation to penalize those who are arrested for it. Omeme claims that the blackouts are sometimes attributed to disruptions on the main power line from Lira, especially during the rainy season. It's a short-term thing, extremely inconveniencing. We do appreciate and we do apologize, but you can be assured we're doing everything possible to improve the quality and stability of supply in northern Uganda. Whereas Gulu residents continue to grow up in the dark, there has been slight improvement on power supply across the country due to increased power generation. Moses Sakena, NTV.